Greetings fellow citizens and welcome back to the channel. Now, weapons and armors in Star Citizens are essential to your character's progression. While you can purchase most of them at the terminal using in-game credits, there are some gears that are only obtainable from loot boxes or looting from fallen NPCs. Today we are going to explore a bunker mission where you can find some of the very aesthetic looking armor with very little risk. Under the mercenary tab in your contract manager, you will find a mission with the description, protect site and procure consignment, or support security forces and secure confidential material. The mission description can vary from one system to another, but you will be executing the same operation, which is first, secure the location aka eliminate all present hostile, two, extract the passcode, 3. Retrieve the mission items and 4. Finally, deliver the mission item to a designated terminal. Now it may seem a lot of work, but if you are just looking to farm the unique armor sets or armors in general, the execution is actually way easier than you think. So let's suit up and get into it. We will begin with Hurston. This is where you will find the very sought after Artimax Hurston Dynamics Executive Armor. First, select the mission with the lowest credit reward, which is the 15,000 AUEC. Since the spawn rate is technically the same for all level of difficulty, we want to clear the bunker ASAP with minimal effort. Next, you will want to equip yourself with a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment. The rest of the gear is entirely up to you. I will normally opt for heavy core armor for extra magazine slots. Now, once you're in the mission bunker, you should spot the mini boss almost immediately, as he usually hangs around uh, the open area next to the starting zone. After you have dealt with him, just tractor beam the body to the elevator and return to the surface. This way, you can loot and equip in a very safe environment. As you have noticed by now, the helmet, the arm, and the leg armor are all matching pieces. The torso, however, is actually a 9 tail modified color, and it feels really out of place. This is the same with all other three systems. So we're going to head down to the bunker again to search for the missing core piece. All you need to do now is just sweep the entire mission area for the fallen security NPC that wears that piece of torso armor. Loot it and equip it and the job is done. For Crusader, you will find the iconic Crusader Security Edition arm piece, the leg armor, and the backpack with a color matching Defiance Hellstorm helmet. You will also find a color matching defense armor on Fallen NPC that goes pretty well all together. However, this is not the actual Crusader security armor set. To get the actual security uh, edition set, you will need to get the core and the helmet at post Korea.
as of patch 3.22a, only Hearthstone security and Crusader security have their own iconic armor set. So what about Blackjack security at Upcorp and MP security in Microtech? Now, Art Corp's mission has a very interesting set of armor at the moment. You can find the Raid Ariel Helmet, the Raid Ariel Leg Armor, and the Raid ADP Arm Piece. You can sort of complete the armor set by looting the Raid Morozov Core Armor and the Raid Ariel Backpack from the Fallen PC. Now, apart from the chest piece that's looking a little bit out of place, it still looks pretty amazing with its striking red color and the iconic Grey Cat Ariel Mecha Light Helmet. And lastly, Microtech. At first glance, MT's set is the least appealing amongst all four. The Citadel arm and leg armor just don't match well with the Morozov helmet. And with the Citadel pieces appearing more greyish than white, putting on a white ADP core armor just won't do it, as the shade difference is very apparent. One way to match that broad shoulder is a white Citadel core armor which unfortunately is only available in random loot boxes across the verse after patch 3.17. Your next best pick is the grey ADP core armor, and if you ditch the Morozov helmet replacing it with a fortifier helmet, you have yourself a intimidating super soldier armor. If you replace that with a Naomi Ona helmet, you look like an absolutely menacing space pirate. This is by far my favorite combo, giving out a vibe of an endgame boss, hands down the best looking set out of all four. And that is all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next.